Hello and welcome to Hockey Talkie. The Stanley Cup final isn't even set yet. However, the Blackhawks offseason seems to be officially underway as they signed four players earlier today in Cahoon, Carlson, Radish, and Lankinen. Now, Cahoon shouldn't really be much of a surprise. There was a report that came out a couple months ago that he'd be signing with the Blackhawks. However, it wasn't official until today. If you remember, Cahoon was a part of the German national team that won silver at the Olympics this past winter. He had a pretty darn good tournament. So that's kind of exciting to see how he's going to play out with the organization here. He's probably going to go the route of David Kampf where he will have a chance in training camp to break the NHL squad. However, it's most likely that he'll probably start in the AHL and then work his way up from there. He is 22 years old, kind of similar trend with the rest of these guys. They're all pretty young. They have time to develop. Next, you have two defensemen in Carlson and Radish. Carlson, a fourth-round draft pick in 2016, he's 20 years old, so he's still very young, especially for a defenseman. It'll be interesting to see how he's able to translate from the international size ice to the smaller ice size of North America. He will probably be in the AHL for a number of years, but it'll be interesting to see his growth. Radish, on the other hand, should maybe be a name that you recognize since he is currently playing for the Rockford Ice Hogs in the AHL and currently helping them on their run to try and get a Calder Cup right now. They're in the Western Conference Finals. He was on an AHL contract and has earned his spot to get an NHL contract now, and he has gotten it today. I'm not sure uh, if he's going to really break the roster. I, I think it's going to be more like the Cahoon situation where he'll have a chance to, but I see him still being down in the AHL for a little bit. He is 22 years old, and we have a bunch of young defensemen that we have signed in the NHL level. So it's going to be a tough roster to break. However, as I've said before, I love competition. I think competition breeds excellence. So the more guys we have competing for spots at the NHL level, I think is a good thing. And last but not least, we have Lankinen, a Finnish goaltender who played in the Finnish Elite League this year. Posted a 946 save percentage during the regular season and a 936 save percentage in the playoffs. Helped his team get a bronze medal over there, so third place. Only 23 years old, very impressive season. Uh, Goaltenders take a little bit longer to develop. Usually Crawford didn't start in the NHL till he was 26 years old. you got to remember that the Marc-Andre Fleury's, the Andre Vasilevsky's, guys who break into the league at a very young age as goaltenders are very much the exception. So Lankinen's probably going to spend a year or two in the AHL. He may battle for that backup spot. It's tough to tell right now what our goaltender situation really is after Crawford went down out of the lineup this year. There's been a lot of question marks and there really hasn't been a definitive answer on if he will even be back next year at the start of next year. That's the assumption it seems and I think management definitely thinks that but there hasn't been a definitive answer to that. It's just been kind of like, yep, we hope so, we think so, we assume so. That's what we're planning for. But other than that, we don't really know. So do we have the years to let these guys develop? Uh, Delia and Lankinen, uh, Delia playing really well right now down in Rockford. It seems like we're putting in a honest effort to get some promising goaltender prospects. The question is whether we have the years to let them develop or we need to throw them into the fire. Who knows? We might see some free agent signings too this offseason. So we'll see. So there you have it. There's the lowdown on the four guys the Blackhawks signed earlier today, mostly AHL guys for Rockford. However, we may see them up at the NHL level for a couple stints here or there. Let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments section below. I'd love to hear what you guys think of these guys and these signings. Until next time, stay safe, make good decisions, and I'll see you then.